Hi everyone and welcome back. In this lab, we are going to learn how to configure and verify IPv6 static addresses on a Cisco router. IPv6 static addressing is useful when you need to assign a specific IPv6 address to an interface. So rather than relying on a dynamic method like stateless auto configuration, for example, we will explore the steps to manually assign IPv6 addresses and verify their configurations. So in the previous lab, we explored the automatic assignment of a link local IPv6 address on a router interface. However, for communication beyond the local subnet, configuring a global unicast IPv6 address on an interface is a must. So a global unicast address enables a router to communicate with the entire internet, much like having a public IPv4 address that is routable across the internet. So in this lab, we will explore how to configure a global unicast IPv6 address using static addressing on a Cisco router, along with two switches and two PCs, as showing in the topology. Again, we are going to go through the usual, where I would go through the topology and then go through the lab tasks. And finally, we are going to walk you through each step to solve each task. Okay, first things first, I will go through the topology quickly as it is identical to the one that we used in our previous video. So what you see on the screen is a couple of PCs that are connected to a couple of switches and each switch is then connected to a router. You can see the interface ID is exactly the same topology as what we used in our previous video. So I'll just move into the next one. So. Again, this is a simple topology, but it will do just fine for the purpose of this lab. If we then look at the lab task and scroll a little bit down, you'll be able to see that the first task is to connect the devices according to the provided topology. So go ahead and create the lab according to the topology, and you can do that either physically or virtually using an emulator or a simulator environment. Um, and once the first task is complete. We can then move to the next one. And the next one is we are going to connect the CLI of the router and both switches in order for us to change the host name of each device according to the topology. Once we completed that step, we can then go to the third step where we are going to configure both PCs and we are going to use the IPv6 address table so that we can assign the appropriate IPv6 address per device. Once we completed that step, we can then verify that each PC have the correct IPv6 address according to the table. Once we completed that, we can then go and configure unicast routing. So we are able to make sure that PC1 is able to communicate with PC2. This command is very important and without it, communication between PC1 and PC2 are not going to be feasible. Once we completed step number five, we then move to step number six, where we are going to configure IPv6 addresses on router one interfaces, gig ethernet 000 and 001. And then once we completed that step, we can then verify that each physical interface connected to the switch have the right IPv6 address and the status is in the up up state as well. Once we completed that, then we are going to perform some testing where we are going to tackle step number eight, nine, 10, where we are going to verify that there is IPv6 connectivity between PC1 and router one and verify that PC2 is able to ping the default gateway of router one. And then finally, we are going to do the final test where we are going to check connectivity between PC1 and PC2. Okay, so before we jump into the configuration steps, so if you look at the video description, you will see that I set the lab instructions so that you can go ahead and challenge yourself at your own pace. I also created a lab document for you to go ahead and download it so that you can challenge yourself by building the lab and go through the list of tasks on your own. I also included the lab setup ready to go for you to configure and 
you will be able to see that I included both labs, one that is pre-configuration and the other one that is post-configuration, which include the solution as well. Okay, so now you can pause the video and go ahead and give it a try. Otherwise, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to tackle step number two, where I'm gonna to connect to each of the switches initially to configure the host name. So I'm gonna put CLI, and then from there, I'll go to enable mode, and then go to config terminal. And from there, I can say host name switch one. Minimize this. Do the same thing for switch two CLI. So click on it and then go to the CLI option. And then from there, I can go to enable mode and then config terminal and then say host name switch two. Now we've done that, we move to router one. Do the same thing. Now, step number two is completed successfully. We can then move to step number three, where we need to configure IPv6 address information on PC1 and PC2. So I'm gonna click on PC1 and then go to desktop option. And then from there, go to IP configuration option. And then I'll maximize this. And then I'm gonna paste the IPv6 address from the IPv6 address table and I will specify the subnet mask. And then I will also include the default gateway, which is going to be the routers one gig ethernet 000 IPv6 address. So I would say the default gateway is going to be that. Now, once we completed this, what I can do next to hit two birds in one stone, I can go to the CLI. And then from there, I would say IP config to verify the IPv6 details or information. So you can see that the link local IPv6 address is already auto-generated and IPv6 address is the one that we have manually or statically configured with the default gateway, as you can see on the screen. So we're gonna repeat the same thing on PC2. So I'll go to desktop and then IP config. And then under the IPv6 configuration, I'll do the same thing. I will copy the IPv6 address from the table and I'll paste it there. I'll specify the subnet mask. And then finally, I will just copy the IPv6 address for the default gateway, which is the interface, which is routers one gig ethernet 001 interface. Once that is done, I'll close this and then I'll open the CLI and I would say the same thing, IP config. And you can see that the IPv6 address have been successfully configured as well as the default gateway. Now we can confirm that we've managed to configure step number three as well as step number four. If we then go to router one, so what we need to do is we need to configure unicast routing on router one for IPv6. And without this step, PC1 will not be able to ping PC2. So I'm gonna go ahead and say IPv6 unicast routing. And then we can then move to step number six where we are going to configure IPv6 address on each interface on the router that is connected to both switches. So I would say interface big ethernet zero slash zero slash zero. And the first thing that I need to do is I need to enable IPv6. And then I would say IPv6 address and then copy the IPv6 address from the table and paste it in here. And then I need to also enable the interface and then what I would do, I'll just scroll up multiple times to get to the interface Ethernet 000 command and remove the zero and replace it with one to save a little bit of time. And then I will enable, again, I will enable IPv6 on the interface. And then I would say IPv6 address and then paste IPv6 address that has been assigned 
to that interface. Now we can enable the interface. And at this point, we can then do some verification. So I would say show IPv6 interface brief. And here you can see that the status is in the up up state of each interface, gig ethernet 000 and 001. And you can see that appropriate IPv6 address is assigned to the corresponding interface. So what we can do next is we can check the configuration from the running config. And if I display the configuration, you can see on the interface gig ethernet 000, the IPv6 has been enabled and the IPv6 address is configured statically. The same applies for interface gig ethernet 001. And here, here, is the, here is the config. Now, once we are happy with that, we can then go ahead and save the configuration. And do that either by copy, by issuing the command copy running config startup config, or you can say write memory, and that will do the job. Now we have configured unicast, we have configured IPv6 addresses on both interfaces on router one, and we also verified that each physical interface is in, is in the up up state as well as is configured with the appropriate IPv6 addresses. And we also saved the configuration. Now let's move to step number eight, where we are going to verify connectivity between PC1 and the gateway, which is router one interface gig ethernet 000. So I'll go back to PC1. And from there, I can say ping, and I'm gonna copy this IP address and paste, and you can see that the ping is successful. I'll do the same thing for PC2. copy paste this IP address and you can see the ping is also successful now our final test is to ping from PC1 to PC2 so I'm gonna say ping paste the IPv6 address that, that belongs to PC2 and then hit enter and you can see that there is communication between PC1 and PC2, even though they are in complete different networks. So one of the things that I wanted to show you as well is what happens if we negate the IPv6 unicast routing. So let's try that again quickly. So I'll go back to my router and I would go to config terminal and I would say no IPv6 unicast routing. And then I would save that, go back to PC1 and up arrow, and then try to hit this, and then try to ping the PC2 again. And you can see that the ping is not successful this time. Here you have it. So that's it folks for this video. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss our future tutorials and tech insights. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop a comment below. I read all your comments and I'm here to assist you. Remember, consistency and hands-on practice are key to success. Stay curious, stay inspired, and until next time, peace.